Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Are you ready for action like Jesse Jackson? Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for action like Jesse Jackson? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I said, are you ready for your English class? Yes, we are ready. Oh, Diego, what's going on, Diego? How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. You? I feel very good. Very <laughs> good. That's nice. Yes, yes. Let's go ahead. Um, Diego, can you tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? Uh, yesterday, yesterday, I didn't come to the class. Oh, but, mm -hmm. did but you watch I, the video? Yeah, yeah, I watched the video. And in the video, explain about the, that, the use of that, this, those, and this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that video... That is what? correct. That is exactly correct. Can somebody give me an thank you, Diego? Can somebody give me an example using that? One sentence. For example, that car is beautiful. Can somebody give me another example? Hey, Josue, thank you for participating. Go ahead, Josue, give me your example. Uh, Josue, we cannot hear you. We can see you, we can see you, but we cannot hear you. All right now? I can hear you now. Okay. Um, how much is it? How much is it? This book. Very book. good. How much is this book? Perfect. How much is this book? Awesome. Good job. Select somebody, Josue. Uh, Liz. Lisbeth Murcia. Lisbeth Murcia. Hello, Lisbeth. Hello. Hi. Uh, please give an example with this or that or these or those. One example. How much? How much do uh, shoes? Very good. How much are those shoes? Perfect. How much are those shoes? Excellent. Lisbeth, select somebody. Mm. Eunice Ramirez. Eunice Ramirez. Please give me an example. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi. My example is how much is that dress? That dress is $20. Perfect. How much is that dress? That dress is $20. Excellent. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this topic? <clears throat> any questions related to this topic from yesterday's class? Pronunciation, vocabulary, Meaning of the words, anything? Questions, yes. question? Hey, Josue. Yes. yes. Um, we can pronounce with two forms, 20 or Correct. 20. Correct. Um, 
me personally, as a professional, I prefer to pronounce it 20. Why, Mr. Santos? Because 20 is more professional, more eloquent, more elegant than 20. 20 is like lazy, like, ah, uh, right? So you want to sound professional, 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, very good. Uh, today, I had a very good uh, call. Um, does everybody know what I do? Do you know what I do? No, teacher. You don't know what um, I do? And today? No, I don't have an idea. Oh, okay. So I buy houses in Florida all day. I call people in Florida, um, Miami-Dade, Boca Raton, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Miami, Palm Beach, Palm Springs, buying houses. Do you want to listen to one call from today? Yeah. Okay. This is a very beautiful house that um, I had the opportunity to, to get the client. So um, to me, it's a blessing. This is a blessing. This is the call with the client. Can everybody hear? Can you hear? Yes, teacher. You can hear? Okay. In the future, maybe you can do this and have a good- Hello, Maureen. Good salary from your house. Hello, Maureen. Yes. Hi, this is Michael King. I spoke with you the other day, remember? I remember, yes I do. Okay, so I already scheduled a visit uh, with my senior manager. He's going to mm -hmm. be there on Saturday. Is Saturday morning good for you? Let's say around 10? No, you know, it's, it's, it's not because um, I have a funeral. My uncle passed away. I have mm -hmm. a funeral on um, Saturday morning, exactly. Oh, okay. 11, 11 what, about, what about Friday? How does Friday afternoon look like around 3 or 4? Uh, okay. The wake is at 4 mm -hmm. uh, through, uh, through 9. So earlier than that would be okay. What about like, uh, Thursday, Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon? Is better for me, yes. Thursday, I'm open. Thursday, okay. All right, so I'm gonna, this visiting? is the house. This where, is the, this is the condominium right here, look. Uh, do you want to come to us or do you want me to come to you? The price is We would prefer to go there because I need to take pictures of the house. This is in Miami. I told you that this I'm in New York. North Palm Beach, okay. Florida. Okay. So how could I how could I do to get in there? Um, does the association have the keys? Could they let me in? Um, That's the balcony. Yeah, I, a That's friend of mine has view. the keys. I can get that information for you. I just have to. That's uh, my car right my there. The red one is my car. Okay. But okay. I can have someone. I can have this someone. This is the view. Of the beach. Uh, well, what are you going to do? What is your plan? This is the apartment. Uh, well, first, we're going to this do a title room. search. That's the first thing. Right. This well, is you, know, you know the titles. On, you know it, there's liens on it, right? It's the living room. Yeah, I already know that. We already talked about it. There are attorney the fees, right. HOA fees, the uh, right. bank payments on the, on the mortgage. The we bathroom. already know that. I already talked to uh, my senior manager about it, and right. he told me yes. So okay. we just want to get this going and get it over with. Okay. Okay. So I'm going right. to schedule a visit on Thursday. Um, let's okay. say at 2, 2 p.m. Is that on. okay? Let me, make sure, let me make sure I write it so I don't forget that number. I'm sorry. I'm getting on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you are, when you're talking with these people, guys, it's very important that you pronounce the words 
um, very, uh, very professional, right? You want to make your intonation very clear. You don't want to have an accent, not even an American accent. You want to speak very uh, perfect. Why? Because you will transmit confidence to the client. <clears throat> right? Hello? Are you guys there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, so, you know, some people can say, for example, some people say, do you have a dollar? Do you have a dollar? Uh, is correct? Yes. Do the people understand? Yes. But in the professional world, what do you think people are going to respect more? Dollar or dollar? Dollar. Obviously, dollar, right? So pronunciation in the professional world is very important because these people are very rich. They have a lot of money. They play with a lot of money, many properties, not only one property. One client can get you two properties. You never know. Well, you know, I also have another house in uh, Boca Raton. I want to sell it. I'm moving to New York. Okay, let me help you with that. Right? So you want to speak as professional, as uh, pronounced, enunciated as possible. Why? Because that's going to open the door. That's going to open the door for you. Okay? So when you listen to me, I want you to mimic the way I speak, mimic the way that I pronounce. All right. Uh, ¿Quién fue que hizo la pregunta aquel día, teacher? ¿Cómo puedo mejorar mi speaking y listening? ¿Está presente? No. Okay. Bueno, eh, you have to eh, practice, you know, and mimic, mimic. Si tú tienes un espejo, tú puedes estar enfrente del espejo y viendo tus labios, pronunciando, eh, viendo, digamos, una serie en Netflix, y viendo si tus labios hacen la misma forma que la que ves, eh, si tu lengua se mueve de la misma forma, right? Todo esto eh, son ejercicios que tú puedes hacer para desarrollar tu fluidez. Any questions? Any teacher? Any All right. Please. Okay. So, y es fácil. Si en el futuro usted mejora su inglés y me llama Michael King, can you help me? Yo le voy a decir, of course. All right. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. So, aquí estábamos ayer. Today, we're going to look at... Oh, we finished this one yesterday. We finished this yesterday, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we did, I remember. All right, we're looking at, in this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán la fuerza de voz en oraciones con el objetivo de mejorar pronunciación. Y aparte de ser uh, acquisitions manager, guys, ta también soy el capacitador. So, I can train you. Usted lo único que tiene que hacer es improve your English. That's it. Sentence okay. stress. Yeah, that's right. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. 
sentence stress. Notice that the important. ¿Qué quiere, ¿Quién me puede decir qué quiere decir sentence stress? ¿O por qué es importante esto? ¿O por qué piensa usted que es importante sentence stress? I think because uh, the stress can give to us like a difficulty and we learn about that. I think that I don't know if this is correct. Yes, very good. Yes, yes, it is correct. And also because when you speak, you have a rhythm, right? You don't speak like a robot. Hi, this is Michael King from Florida foreclosure help, right? We don't speak like that. You go up and down, up and down. Hey, how are you? What's going on? Yeah, this is Michael King. How can I help you? Yes, do you remember I talked to you? That's right. So the intonation is very important. So stress is very important, makes it natural. Words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. Excuse They're me. They're perfect. They're I perfect. I like the blue one. I like the blue They're one. Not very attractive. They're the not very attractive. The audio so I want you to notice that here, stress. Uh, here, perfect stress. Blue stress, not stress, attractive stress. Repeat, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. They're perfect. they perfect. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. <laughs> They're not very attractive. They're not very They're attractive. Perfect. Okay. So, in esta actividad, van a grabarse en Vocaroo. I like the blue one. Y después lo va a copiar. Y después lo va a pegar aquí abajo en el discussion forum. Eso le queda de tarea. They are not very. Okay. Le vamos a poner attractive. en silencio. Gracias. Okay. Now we are going to look at 3.7 lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to a comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación donde los adjetivos comparativos serán introducidos a través de preferencias. Repeat. Which one do you prefer? Repeat. Which one do you prefer? All right. Listen, please. Listen, please. All right. Listen, please. Happy birthday! Introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? 
Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. All right, everybody, we're going to practice the conversation. Look. Look. These jackets are really nice. These jackets, These jackets are really jackets nice. Are nice. Which one do you prefer? Which it's one do you prefer? prefer? I like the wool one better. I like the wool oh, one better. The wool one, why? The wool one, but why? why? It looks warmer. It looks warmer. It's, it's look warmer. warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. Well, well I, I like the leather one better. better. It's more stylish than the wool one. It's more it's stylish more than the wool one. Hmm, these, there's no price tag. Hmm, there's no yeah, price no tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Excuse me, how much, how much is, is this jacket? jacket? It's $4.99. Would you like to try it on? It's $4.99. Would you like, Would you to, like to try it on? Uh, no. Um, no. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's on fast, uh, no, <laughs> 499, uh, no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. But thanks anyway. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, one more time. Look. 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 These jackets are really nice. These, These jackets, jackets are really are nice. nice. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. I like I the, like wool, the one wool, better. wool one better. The wool one? The wool one. Why? Why? It looks warmer. It looks it warmer. warmer. Well, I think I like the leather one better. Well, well, I like the I leather like the one better. One it's there. more stylish than the wool one. It's more, it's more stylish, stylish than, than the wool one. The wool. Hmm, there's no price tag. Mm. There's no there's price no tag. Price. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? How much, How much is this jacket? Is it's $4.99. It's four ninety nine. Would you like to try it on? Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. Oh no. Uh, no. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. But thanks anyway. But thanks anyway. Anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. welcome. All right. I would like for you to practice this conversation in pairs. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to the pronunciation or the meaning of these words? Any questions? Warmer. 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 Más calientito. Oh. Warmer. Más calientito. And wool? Wool. Lona. Lana. Lana. Okay. Lana. Thank you. Lana, Lona, I don't know. Another one? Stylish. Stylish. Más fashion, más estilo. Lleva más flow. Más flow. Más flow. Así como dice Bad Bunny. My flow. <laughs> Tengo flow. <laughs> Tiene estilo. Another one? 
teacher. Hi. What is the meaning would you like to try in it on? Would you like to try it on? ¿Te gustaría probártela? Thank you. Yes. Another question. Another question. Okay. No. Now, what you are going to do is you are going to practice the pronunciation in pairs. Practice the pronunciation in pairs. You will have five minutes, five minutes, and then we check as a class. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Yeah. ready. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Look, his jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Can we start with the conversation? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Hello, can you Hello. hear me? I'm better. Yes. I can hear you. I can't see you. I can hear <laughs> Did somebody say something here? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the letter on better. It's more stylish yeah. than the wool one. Mm, there's a price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's four ninety nine. Would you like to try it? Well, oh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more styling than the wool one. Mm. There's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? 
It's four ninety nine. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Eh, no escucho que están practicando. No escucho que están practicando. Hello, hello. No escucho que nadie está practicando. Daniel está por aquí. Yes, me hear. Ok, ¿por qué no practican? Se están ahí, el tiempo corre y usted no practica. Mm, no good. Teacher. All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. I can be one, teacher. Excellent. Patricia and, ¿quién dijo I can be one? ¿Cómo se levanta yeah, la mano? ¿Cómo se levanta la mano? I, I don't know. Let me see. If... All right. <laughs> okay, Diego y Patricia que levantó la mano. Uh, Diego, you are Sue. Patricia, you are Anne. Action. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? prefer? I like the wool one better. It's wool one. Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. It's more style than... Uh, the wall one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's 49. 49. .99. I don't know. Will you like I to like try it, it on? For $4.99. Would you like to try it on? Oh no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Good job. Thanks anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money, $400. Okay. Uh, yo sé que quieren practicar más, guys, but we have to continue because remember the time is rolling. So, de tarea se van a grabar diciendo el diálogo en Vocaroo. Y después va a pegar la grabación aquí abajo. Any questions? Okay, now we're looking at knowledge check, word power, materials. Va a identificar eh, para completar. For example, plastic bracelet, number one. What is number one? Plas plastic. 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 Very good. Plastic bracelet. Right? Number two, uh, mm, ring. Gold. Gold. Excellent. Gold. You will have five minutes to complete this activity in pairs. Five minutes to complete this activity in pairs. Any questions? Any question? Nobody. Somebody. Nobody. One body. Anybody. <laughs> You body, he body body, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> okay, all right, that's good. Let's go, let's go. Me quedé sola. Hi. Hi, Josué. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Josué. Hello. Hi, guys. Ooh. I'm with you. <laughs> it is. Right Hi, here. Bueno, la primera. ¿Cuál, cuál es, cuál es, perdón, en cuál estamos? ¿Tres qué es? 
Es 3.9. 3.9. 3.9. One more sí. time. 3.9. Ok, thank you. Ok. Awesome. Let's do it. Practice, practice, Number practice. One. Practice, Number practice, one. practice. <laughs> Eh, veo que no se ha ido Daniel Palacios. Daniel Palacios está con Tamara Valdés. Daniel Palacios está con Tamara Valdés. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Number six. Cotton, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Cotton. Cotton. Mm. Number seven. Silver, Silver earrings. Silver earrings. And rubber boots. And a rubber boots. Yes. Rubber boots. Let me see if I. Yeah, that's all yes. correct. I didn't know what what silk means. Silk is like seda. Yes. And did you count the last class? Did you count the last class? Are you finished? Yeah, teacher, we finished. All right, you can continue on the next activity. Okay. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces la tercera quedaría a silk tie, porque dijimos que era de seda. Mm. Y la cuarta es, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Lady. Los calcetines. Ajá. Pues, la verdad, no sé, pero yo creo que es socks. Uh. Ya lo voy a buscar.
Hi. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Are you finished? Yes, yes. Yes, finish. Finish. All right, let me have the first participant read the first example, please. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. A plastic bracelet. Repeat. A plastic bracelet. A plastic bracelet. All right, number two. A bracelet. 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 Okay, number two, another volunteer. A gold ring. A gold ring. Awesome. And number three. A silk tie. A silk tie. So this one is a plastic bracelet. Plastic. This is a gold ring. And this is a? Silk tie, number four. Wool. Wool socks, five. A little jacket. Leather jacket, awesome. Six. A cotton. cotton. Repeat. A cotton shirt. Cotton, cotton, cotton. cotton. The, cotton. Tea, the tea is soft, cotton. Cotton. Seven. Silver. Silver earring. Silver earring. And eight. Rubber. 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 Se escribe con U, se pronuncia como A. Rubber. Rubber. Awesome. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Now, 3.10. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de comprender y utilizar los adjetivos comparativos. Listen, please. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this. Cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Hola, ¿cómo estás? All right, guys, now for this exercise, you are going to write three sentences, cheap, old, and new, three sentences. For example, 
you can say um, choripanes. Choripanes are cheaper, cheaper than uh, McDonald's. Right? Choripanes son más baratos que McDonald's. Um, old. Uh, L. Salvador. No. Metro. Let me see. Let me see. Metro Centro. Metro Centro is older than Multi Plaza. Right, Metro Centro is más viejo que Multiplaza. Uh, new, ah, okay. Multiplaza is newer than Metro Centro. All right, aquí Multiplaza es más nuevo que Metro Centro. So, you're going... Hi. Eh, older than Metro Centro. Uh, sí. Sí. My father is older than my mother. Mi padre es mayor que mi madre. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to write, va a escribir las tres oraciones here in the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Which object we are going to use? All? No, Cheap. three, three Whatever. adjectives, three adjectives. Ah, okay, okay. Cheap, old, and new. These adjectives. Yes. All right. Thank you. Hola, Stephanie. Hi. Ya hizo la oración. Me falta una, ya casi la termino. Y luego las compartí. Me.
Ok. Y la primera. Cheer. Are cheaper than shoes. Ok. Yo puse. The pink dress is cheap. ¿Cómo? The pink dress is cheap. No sé si se si pronuncia. Eh, eh, la primera palabra no la entendí. Ah, the pink dress. Pink. Eh, Ajá. Como el vestido rosa, quiero decir algo así. Ah, ok. <ríe> Pero no sé cómo se pronuncia, si sí, sí está bien. Pink dress. Ajá, el, o el vestido rosa, algo así, está bien. ¿Y es más barato que? Hola. Hola. ¿El vestido rosa es más barato que? Um, no, no le agregué nada más. <risa> ah, ok, entonces voy a seguir con las otras. El, uh, Madonna is older than Shakira. My cell phone is newer than my house. Uh, podría ser my shoes are really old and my dress. Algo así. Repítamelo, por favor. Es que hable un poquito más alto. Que casi no es bien suave. <ríe> Sorry. Digamos, my shoes are already on my dress. Tus zapatos son más viejos que su vestido. Ajá. Uh -huh. <ríe> okay. Um, my car is a new. Um, ay, no sé. Su gato es más nuevo. O, o no, my car. <ríe> Mi carro. <ríe> ah, car. Puede ser más nuevo que, que su casa. My house. Sería my car is a new. Is newer. Is newer. Than. Uh -huh. My house. Ok, thank you. You, you. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Teacher, uh, we have a question. What's that? Uh, for example, here, uh, cheap, old, and new, we have to put it all this way. Cheaper, older, and newer. Correct. That is newer? correct. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
for example, a new, I put it, um, my TV is newer than your. I have to say your or yours. Mm. It's different. Uh, it's not the same your and yours. It's two different things. If I say, for example, I love your shoes. Okay. Right. I love your shoes. Okay. Right? Or if yeah. I say these shoes are yours. Amo tus zapatos. Estos zapatos son tuyos. But in this case, for example, if I say my TV is new, newer than yours. That's correct. With S at the end. That is correct. Yours oh. is always at the end. Okay, if for example, if I don't write the S at the end. It's incorrect. Because I'm referring for. This is uh, the some... possessive pronoun. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, the things that I don't understand at all, uh, why I have to put S at the end? Oh, okay. You have two different types of adjectives. You have okay. the possessive adjectives, and then you have the possessive pronouns. The possessive adjectives are your, his, her, our, my, right? So all of those follow the possession, right? Your shoes, his house, uh, oops, her, um, her car, our teacher, my house, right? Okay. So all of these, the position is before the ad, the noun, before the noun. Okay. <laughs> But the pronoun, the adjective pronoun, is not the same. For example, yours, his, hers, oops, hers, ours. And mine. So these go at the end of the sentence. Okay. Right. These shoes are yours at the end. Um, this is, this car is his at the end. Okay. Uh, this pizza is hers at the end. Uh, this class is ours at the end. Okay. This laptop is mine at the end. So all of the possessive pronouns go at the end and the possessive adjectives go before the noun. Okay, I understand how to... All right. All right, let's get out of here. Time to go. Okay. Awesome. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. It's already time to go, so we will continue tomorrow. Any questions at this moment? Any questions, teacher? Excellent, Way. Very good question. Another question. Somebody. Oh, yes, I have a question. What's up? I want to know is there is not problem for finish the activity activity in the platform because I finished the number five. That's okay. If you finish section one, section two, section three, section four, section five, midterm exam, final exam, you can finish as much as 
possible. No limit. You can advance until you finish. Okay. It's okay. Ya hay alumnos que ya terminaron okay. todo en la plataforma. So it's okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care.